lovely Gary. Hello, lovely YouTuber. Welcome to our tea time tutorial. Today, we are going to be transforming your mindset with a positive affirmation sketchbook. Yes, that's what it's all about. Lovely YouTubers. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you to you, Gary. Of course, any likes and comments always helps us in the algorithm, always helps us to push out our, our uh, content. So please do like the video if you can on your way out. Um, welcome. If it's your first tea time tutorial, I'm Rachel. As I say, this is Gary. And what we do here is try and give you a little creative exercise and some mindfulness thrown in. And the idea is to take you away from your regular life for 20 minutes and help you explore your creative side but also just give you some me time some calm time some peaceful time it's really important for the old noggin to switch off from the daily chores and uh, the daily grind as it can be of life but we try and be positive here so let's not say life is a grind Gary let's not say that let's say that life has challenges but it can be fabulous as well so lovely YouTuber, if you want to dip straight into our creative exercise, I'm going to put the time code below and you can go off now and make that wonderful little sketchbook with us. But if you want to stick around, we always do a little bit of mindfulness at the beginning and that's what we're gonna do right now. So lovely Gary, All right, as you can see, I've had my hair cut. I've got Madonna um, circa the rain. Ra rain, you're she was dressed up in the Japanese thing. I'm definitely going <laughs> I do. And then she did all this sort of like, like that sort of crazy dancing, sort of quite like sort of <laughs> popping. Very strange. I'm sure you're doing that. <laughs> you're channeling it. Oh, I'll give myself a headache. Uh, anyway, I'm channeling Madonna, <laughs> circa whatever it was, 2000 and something. Anyway, I was driving along with my teenager yesterday. She's had a, a friend, um, and you know it's like with teenagers, they're always falling out with each other, aren't they? And she's fallen out with this friend of hers, and this friend has not been very nice to her. And she said to me last night, can we put a track on in the car? Because I really want to get my venting out. So I said, all right, then. Um, I think it's I think it's the letters of the alphabet, the name of the song. I don't know. But it goes um, A, B, C, D, E, flip you and your dog and your sister and your job. And your, eh, you can all flip off. So it's that kind of song. And <laughs> so we did sing it loudly together. It is, a, it is brilliant for having a rant. But then she said to me, you know what? She said, I, I'm, I'm going to give her a taste of her own medicine. That's what I'm going to do. And I said, now let's just rewind a second here. We've done the venting. We've done the venting against this friend who's not been very nice to you. But do you really want to give her a taste of her own medicine? And I thought this was very interesting, Gary. I saw this other thing on the Internet where someone said, you don't need to give the person who has hurt you in your eyes or done all these things to you a taste of their medicine because they drink their medicine every day they know what they're doing they know their medicine but don't give their medicine back to them but protect yourself i accept what you have done you know but now i'm protecting myself and moving away because it doesn't get you anywhere you know Two bitter tasting medicines together ain't gonna work. Give them a taste of your medicine and your medicine should be, you've done it, it is what it is, but now I'm protecting myself. And give yourself your own medicine, your own love and kindness and compassion, and then move on with your life and then see what happens in the future. I just think it's perfect. I mean, we in naturally, we're just going to match something with that that same energy. We get that energy come to us. Maybe it's the, obviously it's a negative energy. It's really like, oh, you've hurt me. And you just want to go back and give them exactly the same back. Yeah. Actually, it doesn't it doesn't make the situation any better. It, and quite often that person is so oblivious to what they've done. It doesn't even stick to them. It doesn't even make any effect whatsoever. So I think that's good. Actually, you can, yes, you can say actually that hurt or, you know, that did hurt a bit, but, you know, just, you don't need to match with anything. Yeah, give them a bit that kind of say, look, I'm just going to pull away. I'm not going to do anything, but I think I need a break from you. <laughs> that's the best yeah. thing. And they're like, oh, but that means I can't throw any more horrible things at you. <laughs> I, I think as well, while you, you know, if you give them the taste of their own medicine and you butt heads together, it's almost as well you're you're enabling that person to continue that behavior because mm. you know there's that old saying isn't there hurt people hurt people 
And, you know, as we've talked before a lot on this channel, we talk about generational trauma and childhood trauma. And, you know, if you are suffering from those things, you are probably going to hurt people. So I said to her, she's probably got issues. She's probably got stuff going on. She's probably got things that have hurt her and she's just retaliating. What she needs to do is have people remove themselves from her life so that she then realizes, hang on, I keep doing this to people. I need to learn about myself. I need to work out why I'm I'm doing this I need to look at my own behavior and that will only happen when people do not enable her to continue treating people the way that she has mm -hmm. so I said to her that's why you don't go back in with the revenge and the taste of the medicine you just withdraw yourself protect yes. yourself whether she does it or not Gary I don't know because she's a teenager <laughs> <laughs> she's a teenager and she's in alert she's learning and that and i just and again i was getting that sort of like there's that even from the the religion eye for an eye you know uh in uh, you know and i just i think that's the old testament isn't it and i just think yeah does that actually work <laughs> don't do it people reach for the heartburn medicine instead pour it on it's like the advert the tv advert Shh, calm it down calm it down there you go. Um, let's play with our little exercise, shall we? I'm going to bring okay. in your. There you go. This is my desk. So this is my desk, right? So we're, what I want, what we're going to do is we're going to make. I just this is my little prototype, but um, I'm going to get us to make this little affirmation, little positive affirmation, little sketchbook, and I just love making my own little books. And this is a really, really simple one that you can use. Don't have to use it for the positive affirmations, but I think it's a good use of it here. So a piece of paper. Now I've got this, what's this? This is an A3, but you could have an A4 piece of copy paper, which I think Rachel, you've got, which you can use. Now you're gonna have to fold it. So you've got this piece of paper and you're gonna fold it several times. So first of all, lengthways like this, I want you just to fold it in half. So right over left, and I just want you to fold it and I just want you to fold it down there. So this paper, I've just used a bit of cartridge paper here. You can see around me, I've got some pens and some paper and I've got my belt tips. I've got some pencils over here. I've got a half drunk cup of tea, which is very important when we're being creative. And then we can open it up like so. Now, the next thing to do is I want you to fold it in half. So I want you to fold it up that lengthways. And again, crease it along like so. We're giving it a nice crease along that way. So, and open it up again, four squares. We need it to now fold it again. So now we've got a valley in here and a valley going that way. We're gonna fold it again to the middle this way. So I'm gonna just fold it up that way, like that way. So that's now folded out like that. I'm gonna turn it round and I'm gonna fold it like so this way to the middle again that way so let's see how we're doing so i should have i've got eight squares now four down each side how are you doing rachel are you okay with that i kept up with you for once yes my gosh that's I brilliant know. okay right now we're going to make a cut and i'm going to you don't have to do this but it's just to help you and for all those viewers out there to see where you're going to cut so you can you'll be able to see this but you are going to cut in the middle here from that where that square is to that square so i can you see yeah you're going to cut in there now you could use you can use a ruler and you can use a little scalpel like that or you can use your scissors so you can use scissors just to cut that and you think well how do i get in to cut that just to cut that that there so if you fold it that way like so fold it like that Get your scissors and just make a, the first incision, like go in there and you cut it and you cut it and you cut it till you get to that end, like so. When you open it up, you've got the whole thing cut out like so, like that. Yes. Like this. That's their purpose for paper. Nice and sharp. And do you know, I, so I don't get them mixed up with anything else. I just tie a bit of cotton onto the scissor handle then. And then I know, okay, oh, there for paper. But what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into um into a book so let me just see i've just got to get this right i've got to get this right where right okay so we've got like the mats imagine these are like mountains here and we've got the cut through the middle now if you just hold that like so pinch pinch and then you go like that can you see that so i've gone yeah mountain mountain mountains pinch 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 up that way 
Yeah, with you. And then I put all those four to almost like make a star and I just recreased the top there and there. Yeah. Now I've got a little book. So if you'd like to sort of put it all together like that, fold it down. I've got a little book with all these little pages in there, like so. Can you see that? So this, so we've made a sketchbook. So this is a sketchbook now. So we can use this for anything we want to. We can do little writing on there or anything. But what I thought we'd do is we'd do several pages in here of little positive things in our lives, things that we really like. Now there's a little story. So we're gonna start from the beginning and we're gonna go all the way through. But the first thing is because we want to represent a sort of a symbol of things we love, so for my symbol at the front, I'm just going to do a lovely heart. So I'm just going to do a heart. I'm going to just decorate that. Now you can use pencils. You can use um, ink, anything that you've got just to start that little symbol off. So things that you love. So I'm just using a nice little bit of things. So all the things that you love and enjoy. You know what I like. A little bit of splatting, you know. I love a little bit of splatting. I might just dry that off a little bit. There you are. Okay, wonderful. So that's a hard things I love. So it's just a symbol for that. And in fact, you're going to do symbols. You can do words. Now the next. So as we turn the pages off, so thinking about the things that you love, the things that you really enjoy. I want you to think about a piece of music and the first opening few words of that piece of music that means a lot to you, or that you really love. Now. I'm going to, I'm going to put mine down. I'm just going to write the words and you've got, it's almost like name that tune. And then you're going to do the same. And I might, I might get that tune. I might not, I'm not that good. So, um, <laughs> right. I've got to think now, you see, you've put this upon me. I've now got to think of a line. So I'm going to, this is my lyrics. Where does this come from, Rachel? I should have known better. I should have known better. Um, Caddis Whisper by George Michael. It oh, always uh, I should have known better. Is that the opening line, I though? Think so. I might have got it completely wrong, and everyone's now shouting at me, Gary, you've got it wrong. You've got it wrong. I'm never going to dance but... again. That guilty feeling yes. got no rhythm. I should have known better. Isn't it? I feel so unsure. As I take your hand and leave yes. it to the dance floor, as the music yes. dances, something in your eyes. Yes. <laughs> That's my favourite song, and I haven't got the lyrics, but I told you I was rubbish at it. <laughs> This is great because this is positive affirmations. It's making us have a giggle, but it's making me feel better. And you, because <laughs> we're thinking, well, we're both laughing at your terrible lyric knowledge, but we're <laughs> colouring, we're just playing. You can do what you want to these words. Um, yeah. But, you know, as you say, you can look at this book every day just to make yourself feel better. Yes. Rachel, so tell me those words. What are they? Okay. Let me see. I probably won't know. Well, you know are I a sky full of stars. You know, I am going to leap. I'm going to release my fears. If I get hurt, I get hurt. You have to love. You have to go for things. You have to do these things. Things might go wrong in life, but you have to because life is a sky full of stars. Just reach out and grab them. So there you go. I love it. Lovely. Right. Right. Next. Okay, after our little musical interlude, the next thing, and the next page, the next page there, um, is a place that you love, a place that you, is your happy place to go to. So it's it's a, a physical piece of land, it could be down the bottom of the road, it could be at the end of the garden, it could be somewhere, but it could be words, but also a little, like a little sketch. Let's do a little sketch. I'm just doing, I've just wet, I've just added some water to the page. I'm just going to, you can sort of like, well, you know me, I'm just going to put a little bit of wet. I'm doing a bit of wet on wet media here. So I'm just going to do a little bit of wet, wet on wet. I'm going to just then dry that. And when you dry it and then you add another layer on, you get two. So I've just added a little bit of blue. I'm just going to add another little dark, so a little bit of blue. So that's a little bit of dark blue there, like so. Oh, I've got, I can see a picture drawing here coming on. Yeah. Um, right, and then, so we've got two different shades of blue, and then we're going to have, oh, that's a very strong yellow. It's very yellow, yellow that I'm using there. Um, but we're going to go with that. I'm going to go with that yellow, yellow, like that. And I'm going to just dry that place, which is my go-to place, which I really love to chill out, and I love to just be 
happy is the beach. I love to go to the beach. It could be the beach, a local beach, a British beach, a UK beach, or it could be going somewhere really nice and hot. And I just love looking at the water. I love looking at the difference between how dark the water looks to the sky. Would that be the capital of France, Paris? Yes! Yay! It is. Show off my beautiful artwork there. Oh, Jim. lovely. Yes, the old Eiffel Tower. Have you actually gone up to the Eiffel Tower? Have you gone up there through the stages? Ah, yes, I've been up there. I've had champagne up there. I've been up there several times. Wow. The next page is just about a colour. So a colour that makes you feel good, a colour that makes you feel really nice, or the, the colour you say is my, you, you know, your favourite colour. So I'm going to do mine. It's going to be all about colour. It could be the words. It could be just your pencils and pens out. Whatever you want. Whatever you want to do. So there we go. Let me just put that. Oh, that's quite obvious. Put that on there. Where's my blue pencils? One colour. One colour. Only one colour for now. That's my colour. That's your colour. <laughs> it is your colour. When you wear that, it's like it's yeah. really, really bright. It looks really I love good. it. I love that colour. But I will go back in when 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 I've um left YouTube, I will go back in and I will recolour this and go into I my think, you know, you don't you my... can just write Oh, there they are. Yeah, there I've they got, are. But I haven't got my water and paintbrush, so but that's what I would go for, a bright, bright pink. And actually now the next page links to um to that colour. It's a favourite item of clothing. So it's sometimes quite often it's about the colour that we're wearing, but a favourite item, either an item of clothing, an accessory or a piece of jewellery, what makes you happy when you put that on? So actually, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to draw this really quick, but we're just going to have a little... Mine is my trainer. I love my trainers at the moment. I'm really into it. I've been wearing my trainers <laughs> all the time. I'm wearing my trainers. They're like they're red and, and green. Um, and they're new new balance ones. So this is no advertising. I have not got a um a paid contract with new balance, but I do like my new balance trainers. And so you can wear them very casually with shorts, you can wear them with some nice trousers, and they look quite nice. So yeah. And what have you got there, Rachel? That looks like something that. Yes! You got your watch. <laughs> so there we are. I'll just that look at really... it. It's almost like. Do you know, that's a, a pretty good representation of your watch. That is better than my trainer that looks a bit splodgy at the moment. My trainer's gone a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> I think your trainer's fabulous. Um, but yeah, that is my dad's watch. I'm wearing it. Um, I picked this up a few weeks ago, and uh, I love it how the strap is so worn because he was constantly fiddling with it. It is a very inexpensive little, once again, no brand associations or payment from Timex. Uh, but it's a <laughs> Timex watch there, not expensive, but my goodness me, I love it. I love it. I dress it with black bangles. Um, it is a man's watch, but I've always loved big watches. Yeah, it looks quite nice. I like that chunky watch with the bangles yeah. and everything. It does look quite nice, actually. Yeah, works. Working it. Well so done. Go, okay. That's my favourite accessory at the moment. Right, turn over. Very quick. Right, just a piece of food. What's the food that you really like that oh. really makes you Oh, that's easy. Right. That's so easy. Is right. Is it? Right. I need the right colour. Oh, get your right colour. Just draw the shape. Oh, come on, for goodness sakes, I must have a brown. Okay, I'm going to go for orange, but we'll get the, we'll get the idea. You get the idea. I think. What's the brown in here? I think that my, my pen here are sadly lacking. A nice bar of Cadbury's chocolate. Although I have to say, I do like um, I do other like brands. I like <laughs> other brands and very dark chocolate, actually. So that is a wrong. I thing. do. But it's a bar and of chocolate. It is a bar of chocolate. And I've got that. the, and I've got a lump of cheese and I do like a little bit of cheese. I like cheese and I like chocolate. <laughs> right, next one. So we're nearly getting to the end. So that's last bit. So the next one is your favourite animal. So what's your favourite animal? So <laughs> it could be. <gasps> way I can draw. Do I have to draw this? <laughs> oh my goodness me. 
Okay. Draw your favourite Sophie. Oh dear, this is going to be hilarious. Is it a magpie? It is a magpie. Oh, right. <laughs> yes, because there's that iridescence. Because I always think black uh, with a magpie is black and white, but actually it's not. If you ever see a magpie up close or see a feather on the ground, it's quite iridescent. It's got a lot of different colours with it. So that's brilliant. Yeah, you do you do look at magpies, don't you? Right. What did you put there? One for sorrow, two for joy. Yeah. But do you know what? I only I, I often see one and I never think of sorrow. I just think they're beautiful creatures. So I love my pies. This time I've draw, drawn the sausage dog. And if no one knows, the sausage dog is called Chipolata because she's a small sausage dog. She's not a fully grown one. And she's called Chippy for short. So Chipolata, the sausage dog. That's how I drew for that one. So and I'll put a link underneath below for the pattern to your Chipolata dog. If people okay. would like to make a sausage dog. I did, did I? Yes. Sausage dog. Yes, yes, you've got the pattern and the video in our shop. I'll put a link below. And that was just off the cuff. We weren't even plugging that. But if you want to make one, you can, because it's really, they're really quite easy to make. So, um, yeah, a full-size sausage dog for your draft experience. Okay, back page, Rachel, back page, yeah. the end. So it's almost like coming to the end. Now, what I want to think, what you all got to think out there, is what's the best time of day for you? What is your favourite time of day? It could be any time, but I want you, what I want you to do is actually represent that, that time of day. Um, I want you to draw a clock. So I'm going to just, you're going to draw a round circle, Oops, I've got paper towel coming in to attack me. So I'm going to draw, oh, actually, I might just draw, do you know what? I'm going to draw around my jam jar. I'm just going to draw around the jam jar, and I'm just going to make a clock. So what's your favourite time of day? And, oh, look at that. Right. So I'm going to just put a few little marks in to represent those digits around the clock. And because mine's in the daytime, I'm going to represent the daytime with the sun out at the side of the clock. But if it's an evening and you really are an evening person, then you've got to draw a moon by the side of your clock. So I'm just going to represent the, whoops. I like your sun, that's wonderful. Okay, so there's my clock with my sun. So mine, wait, hang on a minute. Is that seven o'clock in the morning? No. When's that? Okay, so it's seven o'clock in the evening in the summertime, which is why I've put the sun there, <laughs> because I love it. I love it in the summer when it's about seven o'clock and you've got that golden light. And if anybody follows me on my social media, they will have seen me sitting on a bed opposite a window. And I love watching the sun just going down at seven and it, and it fills this little room with this bed in it with a golden glow, lovely warm sun, and I sit in it and I bask in it. And it's my favorite time. But what I'm saying is like that time in the morning, why don't you pick your little book up and have a little look through your book and just think about all those things you love? Because I think that whatever time, so yours is seven o'clock in the evening, mine's half past seven in the morning with my cup of tea. That's the time I'm going to start thinking about all these positive things in my life. And hopefully that will give me more positive affirmation so more positive thoughts because i just think about all the good things all the things that i like at the best time of the day that i decided now i never told any of you that that was the time you had to do the affirmations until you get to the end so seven o'clock this evening rachel thinking of all the good things for you i think that is a glorious glorious exercise and what and what a lovely idea and actually you know what you could do is you could start your book by um, just you know putting the titles at the top to what you're going to write. So you know a favorite yeah. favorite item, and then you could you could maybe like with my magpie, I just draw a magpie, and then the next day you could add a tree, and the next day you could add some sunlight, and the next day you could add some grass, and you could really you could create an amazing sketchbook that is filled, the yeah. page is filled with things, and you can. It's almost like we've talked about before. If you, the more times you tell yourself positive things in your life, the more the brain will look out for these positive things. And actually, these little things. So the more, if it's a magpie, you might start looking for magpies or robins or whatever. Okay. 
So I think um, I think it's a really great thing. For a start, we've just spent 20 minutes just playing and drawing, which is wonderful. But secondly, <laughs> we've also created positive affirmations for ourselves. And as you say, you could continue this over the next month. You could add to your sketchbook. I mean, you could make a really beautiful sketch. You can also, I'll tell you what you can do, and you probably, some people might guess this, but actually there's two sides to this book. So though you've only done one side, you've still got the other side that then you create the next book and then you create the next one, which will become blank if I just turn it round like so. Yes. Here we go. So then you've got and a whole other book, the other side. So yes. it all disappears inside. So you've got two books there. If, if, if you use nice um, sort of thickish paper, obviously if it's, if it's, um, if it's just thinner paper, just use it one side. I like this. I love it when I just open the whole thing up. I just love that. That could again be a little poster on your wall or whatever. But um, yeah, exactly. yeah I, and that just, I was playing around with sketchbooks today and I just thought, do you know what? This would make a lovely little affirmation sketchbook. So um, yeah, it'd be nice to see other people, what they come up with for theirs. Yes, well, do tag us in at Crafty Monkeys and Gary Mills Designs on Instagram and Facebook. We would love to see your work and then we will share it. And of course, we'd love to hear comments below. What did you put into your sketchbook? Um, and did you enjoy this uh, tutorial? Our Tea Time Tutorial playlist has got lots of videos in there, at least 50 other Tea Time Tutorials. And we're hoping to get some special guests on as well um, in the coming future. So uh, keep watching this space and do subscribe to the channel. Lovely, Gary. Thank you so much. Lovely YouTuber, thank you for watching and we will see you the next time. Bye.